Hey everyone, welcome back to our Application Academy and the PR Stability Analysis Software Tutorial Series. My name is Lindsay Dawson and I'm an Application Specialist with Nanotemper Technologies. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering our merge data sets in more detail as well as highlighting some of the advantages that this automatic merging feature can really bring to your data analysis. Specifically, we want to point out the ability for you to quickly scan through the variation that can exist within your merged replicate data sets. The software also allows you to exclude any data points within this merge set, as well as quickly identify any outlying inflection points that maybe have been added to your unfolding profile but aren't necessarily contributing to the overall story of stability of your protein sample. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into an example in the software to highlight these benefits. So to pick up where we left off from our display options tutorial, if you remember, we were looking at a set of 16 different proteins run in triplicate over the course of two days, and we were just looking at the day one data set. Now to highlight the ability to look through, look at this variation in our large merged replicate data sets, let's go ahead and add in our day two data set. To do that, we can navigate over to the left hand menu option and select the top button, which is our analysis data. So when we click that, we see a flyout menu appear that actually lists the data set that we've already uploaded, which is our day one PR therm control file. We'll simply click add files to add in our day two PR therm control data set. Now we mentioned that the software is automatically merging those replicates and carrying out statistical analysis on that replicate merged set. Now the way the software is doing this is that it's pulling the annotations that you've directly input into the PR therm control file and merging based on those specific annotations. So let's go ahead and inspect one of the replicates to see now the data set that we're working with. So we should have a total of six replicates merged within this data series. So we can go ahead and click this drop down arrow to be able to inspect the individual replicates of this data set. And we can then do a quick comparison of either the unfolding profile, the scattering profile, or we can navigate over to the right hand side of the table to more thoroughly inspect the values that are now included with the PR stability analysis software, which are the average calculation of inflection points as well as the standard deviation from that average. We can also notice that we have some calculations here that are highlighted in yellow. And the reason for that being is that those values are typically missing replicate data input. So either one of the samples in the merge data set is missing the inflection point or in the case of this example we have one replicate that actually has an additional inflection point assigned to it. So to be able to eliminate that data we can either exclude the, the data point from the merge set by hitting the exclude option which we can then see that yellow data point has now been deleted Alternatively, we can leave the data point in the set and simply remove that inflection point by selecting remove markers. Now, I do wanna come back to the annotations and how the data is automatically merged. So we can see that there are several annotations listed here. And if you run into the issue where your data is not automatically being merged, you have the option of editing this annotation and then selecting the way in which your file is merged automatically. To do that, you click on Merge Sets and then select the specific annotation columns that you want included to be able to carry out that merge analysis. So that does it for our merge data sets. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let us know if you have questions and please feel free to join our Explore community to interact with your fellow PR users.
Thank you.